Okay, so today we're going to be learning how to add jQuery and JavaScript to a screen um, to manage some client-side um, activities that we want to have to customize this page. So this is a copy of my, our management demo um, screen without the JavaScript and front-end and client-side uh, additions to it. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, because adding a record here did not work for the, the client specification uh, because we can't enter a course number here and have it fill out this control while we're in the editable grid. It just is way too difficult because you can't find these controls within the, the client side or the callback without refreshing the screen and the ad goes away. So we're going to use the add project to be able to do what the client asked for, which is fill in the name and the description um, based on a course ID that they select. So that's how we're going to do it. Then if we say save project, it would actually use these to create the new project. Okay, so we want to make sure that the user only does it using the add, uh, add project button. And so we want to hide this button. That's what our, our um, project is to go ahead and do that in the jQuery. We're also going to add a JavaScript function that we can call from other points in the application to be able to hide it again. For example, if you go page to page and you've hidden it on the first load, it's going to come right back. So we need to be able to hide it again um, during the, the screen execution. All right, so in order to do that, we're first going to put a container underneath our grid kind of still in the main container area. And we're going to make this uh, a not displaying container so that we can um, hide our JavaScript and it's not going to show uh, back there. Then I'm going to put an expression into this container. And that expression is going to contain our JavaScript. Okay, So the first thing we're going to put in is our document ready function and our little JavaScript function that will go, go forward for it. Whoops. And I had it already written in another window, so I'm going to just paste it in here. So here's where I add the JavaScript document ready function. I'm going to add it to the projects table, i.id add row, and that's the ID of that add row link. Uh, I found that through, through going through the source uh, in the debug de developer tools in Chrome. So that's how I know that that's the right uh, object name. Um, then here's my second function, which is hide add link, so I can hide it again at any time that I want to call JavaScript. Okay. Um, we, you see this message at the bottom, which is a warning. This is a type job, uh, JavaScript, and, and we have to escape the content. Otherwise, it, the expression is displayed as text, which we wouldn't see in the um, execution because its parent has no display. Um, but we have to make sure that this is not going to be escaped. Otherwise, it's not going to be known that it's actually JavaScript. So to do that, we're just going to take this expression. And where it says escape content, we're going to set that to no. OK, so now if we go ahead and compile that, and then we refresh our page, we'll see that it, it's gone away. So when we go look back down, whoops. We lost, so we have a little problem somewhere in there because we lost it, but we also uh, lost some of this up here. So we have a little problem in our syntax in this control. So let's go back in and look at it. Where is this? Oh, somehow we ended up with extra text there, which we don't want. We'll just delete this. Okay. All right. Oops.
Okay, so now you notice it's gone. If we go to the next page though, it's right back again. So how are we gonna get rid of that? What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a, a, an event to our uh, first and next, our next and previous uh, action right here. And we're gonna make it hide again after we've refreshed that. So right in this area here, I'm gonna um, run server action. And it's under HTTP request handler, and it's gonna be run JavaScript. So now uh, we at, um, just have to enter the JavaScript script we want run here, and it's gonna be within quotes, and it's just the, the function name, and that's all it is that needs to be put in here. Okay, so now I'm going to refresh my page again. No add link on the first page and no add link on the second page. Now I know that there's one other page because we can add a, a project and when it's done with that pop-up add window, it actually um, comes back and refreshes the page again. So I'm gonna to wanna to run this JavaScript another place here and where that place is on, uh, on notify add pop-up. Okay this is refreshing again that container and that, so that means that that would have come back. The document ready function is not going to uh, occur again in this in this routine because I'm not reloading the page so I need to hide that JavaScript again right there. So now I'm done with it. I've got that link hidden everywhere and I have jQuery and a document ready function. So that's it. Thanks for listening.